All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set up the demo scenario seven, as uh, many have a few have requested. Now, in terms of this is concerned, it's gonna be in pieces because I really can't have a two-hour, three-hour-long video. So I'm just gonna try to do it as much as I can in uh, different sections. So the first one is gonna be uh, for our um, uh, license server, and uh, thereafter we're gonna uh, prep our uh, site. Or rather, if you want to call it a farm, but uh, 7.6, as you know, it's uh, 7.x is is uh, is a site as opposed to farm. So we're gonna set up our MCI Toronto site, and uh, we're gonna set up our domain controller, rather not a domain controller, delivery controller, and our uh, the two uh, Zenat servers as well. And then we're gonna come back and uh, set up our storefront and our workstation again. Now you could set up a, works, a storefront uh, ahead of time and even your workstation if you wanted to. Um, however, I'm just going to do it that way. Okay, um, It's going to be in part, so it's going to be called Scenario 7 as a key tag. And uh, part 1, 2, and 3, so please follow that. Alright, thanks. So let's start with our client server. Now I've already prepped all of my uh, servers except for the storefront and our uh, workstation. So, uh, but beside that, I've already prepped all of our servers. So I'm going to start with the client license now. Normally, uh, we can go ahead uh, with our uh, Citrix installation, the 7x series, um, without having to do the prerequisites because it actually does everything on its own. Um, unfortunately, not for the license server. When you do the Citrix license server, it does not install the remote uh, desktop services, the license, the old TS um, terminal server licensing uh, services. So we have to go ahead and manually do that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, add roles and services. Next, next, next. And then at the bottom, uh, remote desktop services so RDS and then within RDS we'll find uh, licensing so just accept the uh, features so this was the one and uh, next although it won't restart it but uh, nevertheless I'm, I like to do that so restart if, the, if it's required Now this will probably take a minute. I'm just going to go ahead and pause it until it comes up. In the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and and mount uh, the ISO. Ah, uh, okay. Seven point six. And while it's doing that, I'm going to bring up the ZenApp service. We'll keep that in the back. So the remote desktop services has been installed. It didn't require a, a reboot, otherwise I would have done it automatically. And in the background, if you look here, are the remote desktop services. Okay. And it's installed on the license server. All right. We can ignore that because since we have already opened this, so we're gonna go ahead with this. And we're going to only install the license server. And uh, here's your TOS. Accept it. Next. Next. Accept the uh, default ports. And uh, shortly thereafter, the license server will be installed and the component initialization will begin. Once that has been finished, we will go ahead and uh, set up our uh, delivery controller or our, and then our uh, Zen apps as well. So while I was doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, boot up my storefront server as well and uh, quickly uh, join it to the domain. Right, looks like our uh, license server has already been uh, uh, set up. So wonderful. Now, usually what I do is I always uh, give it a lot more uh, RAM than is required. So 
So I'd given it four and four uh, uh, processors as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, quickly shut this down and change the configuration because we really don't need uh, that much of uh, resources allocated to our license server. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go back to my storefront. Sign the IP address. As I said, I have to multitask, otherwise it's just not going to uh, be convenient. So I'd already assigned the IP address for this. Ah, actually, the storefront IP address needs to be changed. It needs to be 20. So just to ensure we are connected. I'm going to ping the main controller. Alright, so everything looks good over there. So that's gonna domain join with our DC. Now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, drop this down to one each because realistically speaking, we don't need more than that. And that's our client license server, or Citrix license server. However, right, so uh, the Citrix license server has been uh, configured. So we can move on to the next step of uh, setting up our site and that will be in the next video.